over the past couple of years, I've been using OneNote more and more in my teaching practices. And uh, I wanted to share today something that I did for the first time this year in planning my music trip at the end of the year along with my uh, cohort teacher. And uh, the two of us decided about a year ago that we were going to do uh, a trip within our own province here in British Columbia, Canada. So we started to plan this back in May of 2017 and we just got back last Saturday actually which would have been uh, June the 2nd, 2018. So it was only a four day trip, but we had about 45 students going on the trip this year. So I wanted to share some of the things I've done. Now, what I did is I created a music department, OneNote uh, staff notebook actually. Um, and, and you can see here, I have different sections that I have for different uh, events that we have. And what I was able to do, sharing it out with the uh, the other music teacher, the two of us were able to work collabor the, uh, collaboratively over the course of uh, the planning of the trip. So you can see I've got a little to-do list and things like that and uh, information that we can uh, share back and forth. I was able to put in budgets here uh, for everything that we needed to do. And this is just an Excel spreadsheet that I've put in. And you can see that I've been able to come up with uh, the actual information as well. At the bottom, um, when I finally, uh, when we got back on, from the trip on Monday, I was able to put in the actual amounts and uh, what we had to refund to back to the school, which is uh, that amount down at the bottom. So over a course of a four-day trip, I mean, we were pretty close to our budget items. There are a few more items that we have to go. But th the one thing that I really noticed is that ma it made planning so much easier because in the past what I'd have is I'd have a huge file folder of information and then if the other teacher needed to get that information he would have to come to see me. This way we could collaborate very easily. So I was able to put everything up. So as I got information, for example, um, from Barkerville, which is one of the spots that we went to, I was able to put in all the different emails that I, uh, I had from Barkerville and the different activities. Now, um, I've got information here about what the different activities were. Um, we had a bakery there, so we bought some bakery items uh, for the trip uh, outside of Barkerville. And then all the information here that uh, as we uh, got out, I was able to add it to this uh, OneNote. And it's made planning so much easier. Same thing for our uh, invoices to the hotels, uh, all the information as I, as I got it, uh, it was all there and it was really easy to do uh, over the course of the planning. So then I decided that what would be really interesting is to take this one step further and I'll go into OneNote uh, app, the Windows 10 app here. And I actually developed a, a senior music trip OneNote, which I shared out with all the students and their parents. So included in this was an up-to-date itinerary. So this is an up-to-date one. Uh, two days before we left on the trip, everything is there because I got tired of always having to say, here's the itinerary, uh, printing up another one. They have access to this on their uh, smartphone. Uh, the parents have access to it at home. It just worked out beautifully. I was able to put up different forms, for example, the manual and the rooming list, and in PDF format. Uh, I printed it out here as well so they could see. However, I've taken that down so that uh, for privacy concerns. Same thing here, uh, Barkerville Attractions. Um, I've got what everybody is uh, doing, and this made it really easy on the trip itself because what I was able to do is on the trip, I was able to refer to this on my smartphone and uh, get that information out to the students very easily on the trip. I also did something interesting for the first time is I used a Microsoft form uh, as a, a survey and uh, I'll open that up really quickly here. And what the students were able to do is do their dinner menu items, uh, their orders, and it worked out really, really well. For some reason it's not loading right now, but it worked out really well. And then I used a flow and I was able to actually, um, um, Microsoft Flow, I was able to pull up all that information as an Excel, uh, Excel spreadsheet. And there's the Excel spreadsheet without their names because of what we were doing, uh, what we've got here and everything else uh, for privacy concerns. But then I was able to print those up and each student then would actually, I could pull this information out. Each student got a little uh, piece of paper with their name and what they actually ordered when we got to the restaurant. The restaurants knew exactly who to get that information to. So it worked out beautifully. The restaurants absolutely loved this. 
I also have our breakfast menus because I do breakfast in one of the chaperone's rooms and uh, that saves us time and money and the students were able to actually come in here see what we're going to be doing and give us some feedback on it. So it really really worked out well this year using OneNote for both the students as well as for their parents and then for the planning stages uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, everything is there. I now have uh, a great reference for next year. It's all there for next year. We're already planning our trip and I'm definitely using OneNote again. So if you're interested in more information, you certainly can drop me uh, an email and uh, or give me uh, some feedback here on Twitter.